Hey, welcome home. It's good to see you. Uh, this is Mountain Home. Uh, I'm Jarrell. This is just a little corner of the internet where we can share our love of the mountains, music, and everything else in between. I just got this delivery. I'm going to open it up and share it with you. I'm pretty excited about this. This is for a project that involves adding a resophonic resonator like you would see on a dobro guitar and putting that on a banjo. Now, I've taken some measurements and I'm comparing it to information that I've seen online. I don't actually know how these parts will fit on here, but I will share the entire project with you. So in this video, I'm just unboxing this and we're just going to have a, a rough uh, sort of a visual estimate on how well this is going to fit on there. The main difficulty that we're going to see with putting the resonator on there is that the bridge is in a different position than where it needs to be for correct intonation, so we'll have to work something out for that. I'll be opening this package with this nice uh, Smith & Wesson. It's called uh, Border Guard. I don't understand why it's called that, but it does have one of those window uh, breaking things and a seatbelt cutter. So this is the perfect knife or pocket knife if you think that you're accidentally going to drive into a river. Um, if you're going to be in that one scene from The Office where Dwight and Michael ended up in the river. This is the perfect knife for that. I really like the grips on this guy. It's got a nice strong clip in there. Um, it's, a, it's a bigger knife than I would normally carry, but I think I got it on sale at Big Five Sporting Good a few years ago. Uh, and it's it's a cool knife. I had a, I've had a couple Smith & Wesson knives. Um, I've had two of them... I've had two of them break uh, in not great ways. But this one seems pretty sturdy. Okay, so we got that packaging off. Let's go ahead and cut the tape here. And remember, always cut away from yourself, never toward yourself. I like to have multiple points of contact on the knife when I'm doing close work like that. It just gives you a little bit more control. I like to have my finger on the blade here so I can control how far into the package that blade goes so I don't end up damaging the contents. Okay, package nicely here. Let's go ahead and open that up. Maybe we'll get some ASMR from the packaging. How about that? I don't want this to spill everywhere. I'll take it one piece at a time, I think. Let's go ahead and move this keyboard. Okay, this is looking pretty good here. All right, how does this... Oh, look at this shiny. Oh, uh... The the reptile part of my brain that loves shiny things just activated. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Shiny things, you know, what can I say? Shiny things are cool. All right. Nice. Oh, boy. I really like how that looks. Okay. What have we got here? We have a tailpiece, which is very nice. Okay, great. That's excellent. We'll see. We'll see, because I think the tailpiece goes too far. Oh, hmm, interesting, interesting. The, the tailpiece goes too far, but I think we would be able to use that. Okay, I'm just processing uh, my options here. Okay, we have our grills, our little grills that usually cover your holes, but I won't be needing them, so I'll set them aside for a different project, and I could use them in another project. Ah, oh, gee whiz, these are... Ah, oh, these look nice. Okay, I'm sort of... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of passioning out here. Uh, you're seeing my my weakness for shiny objects come through here. <laughs> Look, I can't help it. Shiny stuff is it's cool looking. Okay, we have a nice saddle here. That that would be maple. Looking at the grain here to determine if it's an artificial high pressure laminate. That looks to be real rosewood. I'll know once I start sanding it or, or cutting slots in there, but that looks like real maple and rosewood. Okay, and we have our cone here. So that's that's everything. And there is something interesting here. This includes a little wire here that you're meant to use if you want to add a pickup, an undersidal pickup there. So you're meant to to use this. So I've not used one of these before, so uh, I will have to just um, look up some instructions on that. But that is this guy here. Okay. 
So that's our cone. So let's go ahead and just grab our banjo really quick. Um, okay, we have a tensioner. I think we have, okay, yeah, we have your screw there to adjust the tension. So this will be an interesting project. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the banjo. And we'll just grab this really wonderfully shiny object here, which I am very clearly distracted by. Oh, look how shiny that is. Okay, now, if this modica modification goes well, this will be sitting like that, and the banjo will look a little something, a little something like that. That's pretty rad looking. I'm sort of looking at it into the screen where I'm holding it there, and that's going to be pretty cool. So... Here's, here's the challenge. So you see where the bridge is down there? So I'm going to have to work out some sort of lever mechanism. It would function a bit like a seesaw. Uh, and it would push pressure. It would transfer the tension from the strings. Uh, or the vibrations. It would transfer the vibrations from the string down onto the cone. As you can see there. Because that's actually going to sit dead center. So I'm going to dismantle this now. And I'll start on the project. So, this video was just an unboxing to show the, the stuff that it came with. The kit, I think, was like 50 or 60 US dollars. I'll let you know every single step of the way. I'll, I'll video and document every step of this process so that if you guys want to perform this modification yourself, hopefully my video can help you do that. It shouldn't be that difficult. This is a standard modern banjo with an 11 inch diameter drum head. The vast majority of modern banjos will use 11, um, which fortunately lines up with this guy. So please keep an eye out for my upcoming videos. I have new reviews coming. Uh, I will show the process on this and how you can do it yourself if it works. Uh, there's always a chance that it can be a total disaster, uh, which is always a possibility. So I'd, okay, thanks for joining me on the unboxing. Um, it was just fun and exciting and... Uh, I will let you know my progress. I'll I'll make some posts. Let's just have a quick look at the tailpiece really quick before we go. Again, my weakness for shiny objects will probably be pretty obvious here. Ah, oh, gee, look at the look at the chrome on that. <laughs> that's pretty nice. But I I have a feeling I'm just going to measure that. But I have a feeling that's too long to help us. Thanks for watching. Okay, check in. Um, keep an eye out for my upcoming videos. Uh, Thanks for watching. Come home again soon and I'll leave the porch light on for you. <laughs>